We get a lot of questions about people that are wanting to get their own gear. They want to get their first rail rod set up. So this is what we're going to go over today. Some of your selection on reels to let you guys know uh, the differences between the high end stuff, low end and mid end stuff, and just give you a comparison. Technology has come a long way in the past few years, and there's a lot of really good options. Um, you can spend less or spend more and still get a reel that'll handle these bigger fish. A lot of guys, especially when it comes to sinker rig fishing or jig fishing, fishing something around 80 pound or 100 pound spectra, and you want a reel that's going to hold probably about four or 500 yards of that kind of thing as a minimum. Uh, if you got that, you're in really good shape. Pretty much any one of these reels today will do that for you. So we got a few options. Um, starting kind of towards the less expensive end, you have things like the Fathom. Um, that's the new Fathom 2. It's a two-speed reel, holds plenty of line. I want to say it does like 40 or 45 pounds of drag, which is plenty on these big fish. And uh, it'll definitely get the job done. Yeah. These are closer to like that $300 range. Good starter reels right there, the Fathom and the Speedmaster. Yeah, yeah, both of which pretty low maintenance. Like these will make it through the season for just about most of the guys that I know. Um, you won't have to tear them apart, grease them up, or send them into the company. Uh, you can have a great time with them. Yeah, and if you look at the two reels here, if you want to hold that Speedmaster, you can see the, the, uh, the pen's a little bit more narrow. Um, this is kind of more set up for like your speed jigging. So you guys that want to get into like slow pitch and speed jigging, that's why that's more narrow like this versus the Speedmaster that's a little bit wider, but they still have the same line capacity. Um, another difference that you'll see is the handles here. Um, that's just going to be more comfort and what you prefer. So this is something where you might want to go into a tackle shop and feel it and pretend that you're fighting a fish. And again, there is always upgrade options as well. So like, let's say you really love the Speedmaster, but you just don't love that handle. Um, there's definitely options to change it out to jigging handles, aftermarket handles, or ones from Shimano. So yeah. uh, don't let that be a deal breaker for you. You know, this is just a good intro reel for guys that are just getting started. Um, they're pretty solid reels. Um, you know, it's a little bit more plastic when you're putting it in and out of low speed, stuff like that. It does have the stop right here when you're going up. Um, you got any other differences that you know about the pen? Um, not really. There's definitely some nuanced differences as far as the internals of the reel. Um, definitely like the shaft down the center and a few other pieces are going to be a little beefier as you get into like the higher end stuff. Um, the Speedmaster and the Fathom will be kind of similar in that sense. Likewise, the less expensive reels, typically a couple less bearings, say like in the handle, um, doesn't necessarily give you less function, but maybe doesn't give you as smooth of that like yeah. limitless, endless feeling. The low speed and the drag are kind of just a little bit more of a jump than exactly. as smooth as the high end rail. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's really what it comes down to. It comes down to feel. And do the fish know at the end of the day, realistically know if you're getting enough drag out of it and you can land the fish on it, it'll definitely do the job. But you yeah. might notice a little difference in the smoothness. Or sometimes when you're fighting a big fish on a longer fight, um, these ones tend to loosen up on the drag a little bit Yeah, fair. Um, versus the higher end reels that uh, maintain that same drag that you set in the beginning of the trip. And if guys want to step up, the next step up, well, at the shop here is going to be like this Avid, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this Avid's somewhere in the middle ground. Again, you're going to do about 40 to 50 pounds of drag on something like that. Uh, you're going to hold plenty of 80 or 100 pound test, and uh, it'll definitely get the job done on those, on those bigger ones. All right, and then once guys want to step up into something a little bit heavier, a little bit more reliable, in my opinion, um, it's just a little bit smoother drag, um, a little bit better speed. You got the two top end. Uh, you got the Talica here, and you got your Daiwa Saltiga here. So yeah, these things are badass reels. Um, any one of these is going to be, again, putting out 40 to 50 pounds of drag, and they're still holding plenty of that 80 or 100 pound line. Again, you got small differences in things like the handle, but... If you drop the lever down, you'll see both of these things have incredible free spool. Um, they'll fish yeah. a bait, they'll fish a sinker rig, they'll fish a jig. Yeah, they're really, really, really high end for a reason. I mean, when you're fishing a knife jig and you have a great free spool like that, you just drop better and it gives better action on your lure to get bit. Um, there is one noticeable difference, I think, when you're moving up towards strike. Uh, there's a button that you can't go past on the Daiwa. Yeah, having a physical um, stop is which nice. Which will stop people sometimes. The uh, the Talica, that's my only gripe. This is my favorite reel in the world. This is all I fish. But there is no button. So sometimes people will panic and go too far. And they go all the way up to full or sunset. And they just put too much drag on a fish and end up breaking it off. Which I have definitely done. So the biggest difference, in my opinion, when you get into kind of the more high-end reels like the Talicas, the Saltiga two-speeds, 
Uh, metal bodies and the, t the tolerances are all very tight. So there's very little wiggle room in these reels. When that thing is under tension and you're cranking on that fish and everything is tight, it's not shifting. It's sitting exactly where it needs to be. The bearings are sitting exactly on the shaft that they're supposed to be sitting on. Nothing's moving around and everything works like it's supposed to. I yeah. think that's really the biggest difference. And if you're a guy who fishes a lot, you go out on the boats a lot, you catch a lot of big fish, it's definitely worth making the jump into something like this. Because that tighter tolerance, those stronger materials are going to hold up better over the course of your season to lots of big fish. Um, but if you're a guy who gets out once, twice a year, it, it's not going to make all that much difference to you. Yeah, I mean, no matter what, you want to service your reels at least once a year, right? Ideally. But these guys that are making multiple trips a year that are targeting big fish, it might be time to think about stepping up to the more expensive reels um, where the drag just holds a little bit more true. Everything feels a little bit smoother. Another small detail to touch on with these reels um, is going to be the two-speed mechanism. So all of them, same as how they have a different um, system for depressing a button um, to get that lever up past that notch, everyone has a little bit different of a two-speed system. So these new Fathoms, for example, actually just got a revamped two-speed system on them. And I mean physically like the, the button that you're pushing. So this one, for example, has a button you push on the handle here to pop into low gear. Now you're in low. You push this button right here, pops yeah, back out, and you're in high. Much bigger button on the pens than uh, everything else, basically, on the market, where it's much smaller. Exactly. So most of these other guys will have, like, a smaller button in the handle and then a small lever down here that you have to flick out to get it back out. Um, again, does it really make a difference at the end of the day? Maybe in user application, but the fish aren't going to know. As long as it's well built, Yeah, definitely. you'll be in good hands. It's just a matter of being familiar with your reel when you're fighting that fish. Definitely. One other thing to note is the quality of free spool on some of these reels. Uh, we mentioned earlier some of the higher end stuff tends to have a couple more bearings in it, uh, whether it's in the handle or the shaft, but it tends to uh, translate into a little bit better of a free spool. So I don't know how well you guys can see these reels, but if I spin this pen fathom and then I spin this Daiwa and you kind of just leave them there for a second and come back to it, that Daiwa is going to still be spinning when that uh, fathom is already done. Uh, what does that mean for you at the end of the day? If you're dropping jigs, your jig is going to fall a little bit faster. If you're fishing baits, your bait's going to swim a little bit better. And uh, overall, I mean, your spool is just spinning easier, so it's easier to turn the handle and easier to fish with it. Yeah, that free spool is a very, very important thing to you guys. Um, if you're ever looking for a used reel or something like that, that's something you want to check out as well. Um, you know, put it in free spool and just give it a spin. And if it stops right away, you know, there might be some servicing that needs to be done on. Uh, on that reel. Uh, if you guys like this information on these reels, these two speeds for rail rods, please uh, give us a like and a subscribe. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, we're going to have a future video on rods to pair with these. So uh, if you guys want to subscribe and check that out, please do. Awesome. Yeah. Likewise, if you guys have any more questions about what you're seeing, give us a ring anytime here at the landing. We're 619 222 1144. Stop in or Ring us up. We're always here to talk reels, and we got everything here for you to play with.